Hello and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be showing you my morning routine for this day and how we make reishi tea. So first of all, to make the reishi tea, we have to get it. And this is a market in Porto city center called Bullion. And as you can see, they, they have lots of really cool stuff here. They've got some grapes. These are like spices. This is a stool that's sort of paired with the stool that, that I buy my mushrooms from. They have loads of different mushrooms and spices and stuff. It's, it's really, really cool. It's a really nice environment. There's loads of stalls as well that sell loads of different uh, artisan stuff. It's a, it's a really cool place. It's a really nice, really nice vibe there. So basically we're just looking for some dried slices of reishi mushroom. You can use a powder, but it doesn't make tea so good. And it is a bit more processed. If you can get the slices, that's, that's pretty much the best way to do it. And that's what we're going to be using to, to make our tea today. So here I am doing some Qigong and we've sped it up a little bit just to just to get through. This isn't something I do every morning, but this is something that I felt like I needed to do on this morning. And I like to use Qigong and different movement therapies and even meditation in a more use it when you need it kind of mindset. So it's not about having a solid routine. You don't have to do it every day. I find trying to do something every day actually makes me feel quite bad about myself because I don't end up doing it every day and I feel kind of useless. So instead, it's just a useful tool to have and you just use it when you feel like you need it. I know my, my belly's poking a little bit out here. Don't worry about that. Just excuse that. And this was a this was a really funny movement. I thought this was going to look really funny when I when I sped it up, and I think it does. So this was qigong for the liver, just to stimulate my liver. This is one reason I'm really using the reishi. So it was a really nice addition to this video. It's just about having fun and really connecting with your body. You don't have to be perfect, you just have to start. So now we're going to make the reishi tea. So we're just turning the stove on. We're going to put it boiling. We've got the pan here. We're going to get it as hot as we can. We're going to stick some boiling water in there, as you're going to see in just a second. And this takes some time to brew. So we're going to do this in the pan. So we just pre-boiled the water there just to make it a little bit faster. This is going to be enough reishi tea for me for about two or three days and it keeps okay in the fridge so you can keep it and you can drink it cool as well if you like it's very hot here in Portugal so I don't really like drinking hot tea so I, I prefer to drink it cool so we just added about almost a liter of water there and this isn't a science you know there's no perfect way to do it you don't have to do it exactly right it's very much try it experiment see how it makes you feel see how it tastes this reishi has a very strong taste and it isn't particularly pleasant. So you have to find a dosage that is gonna work for you. So here you can see the water is boiling. We've turned it all the way down just, just to keep it hot. You know, We don't even really want it boiling. We just wanna keep it really hot. And we're just gonna stick the reishi in there. And as you're gonna see, it's not a science. I'm not weighing it. I'm not measuring it. I'm just putting about the right amount in there. You kind of want between maybe six to 10 of those slices per cup is a is a rough estimate and it depends on your dosage as well some people need less i started with less some people need more i actually do a little bit more than this now just because that's what works for me but this could change over time so you just want to make sure it's submerged and we're just going to leave it there so some of the benefits of reishi include liver support immune function and immune health it's really helped me with my digestion as well really really surprised me there wasn't wasn't using it for my digestion at all see here we're just cooking it for 30 minutes usually I, I leave it on one for about 30 minutes and then after it's cooked to just leave it there with the residual heat and just let it cook by itself look it's me <laughs> me from the past so now it's cooked what we're going to do is we're just going to serve some here so I'm, this is just my morning my morning portion actually that's for Joanna it's slightly less I usually have a glass and then we just store it in in glass in the fridge Keep for a couple of days, two or three days, and you can drink as needed. 
This is a, a very powerful mushroom through the eyes of traditional Chinese medicine. It's a Shen tonic and really helps with developing you spiritually as well. Stick it in the fridge and just enjoy as desired. You can reheat it if you're in a colder climate. If it's hot, just drink it cool.